Hi, this is JP from Not Alliance of Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG campaign playthrough. And this time we are concluding the Mutant Genesis campaign playthrough against Magneto scenario. And as before, I have chosen to play with the same deck uh, of uh, Gambit protection I have been using throughout the whole series. So. Let's quickly look at the deck before we start playing. Okay, and this is the Uno you know, Reverse Gambit Protection deck by Classy Robot, which I have been using throughout the whole series without any changes to the deck. I found out that this deck can perform really well once you get it uh, set up correctly, uh, playing all of those or, or most of those upgrades you have uh, in the deck. And uh, also, some of the allies are really useful in different situations and the events that uh, you can play when you are defending. This deck has quite a lot of uh, resources, so that helps uh, for you to play different stuff. And for example, if you get your charge counters built up, uh, you can play Rogue for free and that's a really swingy move to make so not hoping to see rogue immediately at the start but maybe on turn two or three maybe but uh, we'll see how that goes so uh, not going to talk that much more about this deck i'll put the link as usual into the video description if you want to check the deck uh, out for yourself and maybe build and try it out so let's hop back over to the scenario okay and uh, we have set up the scenario here, so we have Magneto, uh, and I am playing a standal uh, or a standard difficulty, I mean. So we have the Magneto phase 1 in play, uh, we have Asteroid M uh, main scheme in play, which puts the boarding party in play and sets the orbital decay side scheme in, uh, out of play. And then, uh, because we're playing as campaign, we have Magneto's Fortress in play at the start, and we need to defeat that before we can start removing any threat from the main scheme. So, uh, we also only have the, from the Defender set, which we picked at the start of the campaign, uh, we only have the Surprise upgrade, so that starts in play, and we only have one card in the... A futures path set not shuffled here and that will be shuffled into the encounter deck once we defeat Magneto's Fortress. So uh, if you haven't seen this it's uh, Magneto's Fortress, uh, two threat per player and when defeated shuffle the top card of the futures path deck into the encounter deck and flip this card and I haven't even looked what's been uh, on the reverse side of that but that is basically it. Uh, we have uh, three different uh, futures pass cards already in the encounter deck. Two of the minions and one side scheme. And well, hoping not to see those that much, but we'll see. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are ready to start. So, let's start by drawing our opening hand so uh, one two three four five six and uh, just to remind uh, forced uh, response after magneto attacks you place one magnet counter on the main scheme so the main scheme reads after you place a magnet counter on this scheme if there are at least three magnet counters here discard cards from the encounter deck until a uh, Magnetic card is discarded. Reveal that card, then remove three magnet counters from this scheme. So that those magnet uh, magnetic cards are a bit bad. So we don't want to um, make Magneto advance that uh, uh, forced response that many times. Okay, so we get Nightcrawler, Creole Charmer, Hard Nox, the X Jet. Hard to ignore and Chocasta. Well, uh, this doesn't do that much. The Axe Jet would be nice. 
Creole Charmer would be nice, so we can get the threat here under control. Um, I think I'm actually mulliganing these three, trying to get some resource cards or stuff like that. Uh, we get the Beauty and the Thief, uh, Judge, Judge Card and Hard Knock, so not that the best start, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So. First off, I will do Remy Lebeau's uh, Thief Extraordinaire ability, so I will exhaust Remy. Now look at the top two cards, and neither is good. So we'll discard that and we'll just leave that as a boost card, but we know that we are not getting a... Uh, plus to Magneto's attack when he will attack us. So I will do the Creole Charmer. Actually, let's see. I, I just don't have enough to play the X Jet. I have to really think. So I can't play this in hero mode, which is a shame. But we could um, get rid of the Magneto's Fortress. So I'll, I'll actually do that. So I re really want the Max Jet. So, um, yeah. I'll do it like this, so I'll use these three cards to play the X-Jet. And uh, we'll flip. Then we will play hard to ignore, and that will be our... We'll actually keep the Creole Charmer in hand and use that to play the hard to ignore. We'll ready up. One, two, three... Four cards, so we get another heart to ignore. Gambit skilled armor, thief skill, and judoka skill, and uh, that is our hero phase. Let's go to the villain phase, and before that, I'll of course charge the card. So Magneto attacks. I will defend. Oh yeah, we add one threat here. So Magneto attacks and exhausts your identity. It doesn't do anything and we don't take any damage. So we get to exhaust hard to ignore to remove one threat from the main scheme. Then we get an encounter card. Advance. Well, that's a, uh, uh, that's a bad one. So uh, also we put one magnet counter here. And now we scheme for two plus give Magneto a tough status card and face down boost card. So Magneto gets a one face down boost card for next activation. But that is everything. So uh, not that bad of a first round, but we'll see how we can continue from here. So let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well. Mm, Let's see, I'll, I'll just keep building, so I'll put the Gambit Skilled Armor in play and use the Thief Skilled for that. I'll use the X-Jet and one of the hard to ignore to play the Judoka Skills. No, I'll use the Creolich Armor. I think we're staying in Hero Mode for a while now. And that is everything. We'll keep the hard to ignore in hand so we can play that next round. We'll ready up. And we charge the card, of course. So we keep that and draw five. One, two, three, four. So we are up to five. Not today. Natural agility. Electrostatic armor heart knocks and hard to ignore. So before we go into hero phase, 
or, or in the to the villain phase we could play this this and uh, we could also maybe play the uh, these with uh, yeah we're not using that okay I think that's uh, decent okay well we add one threat to the main scheme magneto attack so two boost cards I think I'll use the judoka skills so when you d defend against an attack uh, remove one judo control from here that enemy gets minus two attack for this attack we will also play not today so we get plus two defense so we are at a defense of five against zero <clears throat> and uh, if this is an attack that defeats an ally it is not so it doesn't do anything and gang up is one boost icon so we don't take any damage we'll ready with our guild armor, we remove one threat from here, and we also get to remove two threat from here, and this flips. So we have to shuffle one of these cards into the encounter deck. But let's see. So Magneto's power attached to Magneto permanent. So Magneto actually gets uh, plus one to both. Uh, Stats. And that's that's bad. So Magneto has a three attack and three scheme. So not an easy one. Okay. Then I'll get to Yeah, that, that was not today. Because I didn't take any threat. Uh, yeah, we get an encounter card. It is Magnet. Uh, oh yeah, we add one here. So we get a Master of Magnetism. When we will take the topmost magnetic card in the encounter discard pile and give it to Magneto as a down boost card, Magneto activates against you. Okay, well that sucks. So... We know it's the metal shard, so boost if this attack defeats an ally, so it doesn't do anything. But uh, we know that at least we are probably not taking that much damage. So Magneto activates against me again, so we give an additional boost card, so I'm defending. And. Uh, uh, 3 plus 0 and Magneto get a, gets another boost card and this does nothing okay well we didn't take any damage but we would have wanted to thwart so that we could have used the surprise to get rid of this but it, uh, it's going to have to wait a bit but that was the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, uh, I'm sticking to my plan of playing these two upgrades. Not doing much else, so we're just ready. Okay, so we have the electrostatic armor, two hard to ignore. Judoka skill and gambit skilled armor. And we ready up and we charge the card. So, one, two, three, four, five. Hoping to see Rogue or something else good this round or next round. Creole Charmer, Unflappable, Not Today, Forge, and Rogue. So, we now we're cooking. So, we add one threat to the main scheme Magneto attacks. I will defend and I will use one Judo counter. So Magneto attacks for 3 plus Exhaust Your Identity and 3 
So we take one damage, uh, two plus, yeah, we take one damage, so none of this does anything, but we get removed, get to remove the tough at least. Well, that sucks. Uh, we really wanted to be able to do something. Oh yeah, um, I forgot I could play this, so I, I should have done that to remove two threat from a scheme. And then we wouldn't take anything. So I'm taking a bit of a backseat here, but uh, we remove two from here. These remove two from here. And... Uh, yeah, we get to ready. Okay, so we get an encounter card. Oh yeah, uh, before that this advances, so we um, discard cards until we hit a magnetic card. So magnetic bubble attached to Magneto. Magneto gains retaliate one. So I'm uh, putting the retaliate counter on Magneto so I won't forget. Post. I interrupt when Magneto would take any amount of damage, place it here instead. Then if there is eight or more damage here, discard this card, so that's just nasty. But it is what it is, so Yeah. I think that's everything, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we charge the card, we'll play Rogue for free, and uh, Rogue comes into play with Toughness. Uh, we use the Creolic Charmer to play Unflappable, so we we'll just keep building up, and uh, we will twop this away. So, uh, when defeated that flip this card and reveal Sabotage Master Mold. Now, uh, Magneto cannot have more than 12 uh, damage, sustained damage per player. When defeated, that reveal the set aside orbital decay side scheme and add this card to the victory display. And it comes into play with three threats. So, um, I will just. Uh, Squad for two here with Rogue. We'll keep Forge in hand and ready. Actually, let's not do that. I forgot I had this in play. After you thwart, remove three threats from among schemes in play. So we actually use this. Uh, just to get rid of this one. So when defeated, uh, we put Orbital de Decay into play. <clears throat> and uh, we'll actually just uh, keep Rogue. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stay there, so... We draw back up to five. A powerful punch. Molecular acceleration. Charge the card. Royal flush and forge. So now we can start dealing a lot of damage onto Magneto. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat over here. Magneto attacks. And uh, I think Rogue will just defend. So, no plus damage, which is a shame, but it is what it is. A rogue loses the tough. And uh, encounter card is Magnetic Missile, and we had to add one here. So, search. When revealed, defeat a Sentinel minion in play, then take 5 damage. You may discard X card from your hand to prevent X damage. So, we didn't have a Sentinel minion in play, so it searches. And it is Bastion... Toughness, Villainous, Victory 1, 10 health. Okay, well, <clears throat> that, that is a beast. Uh, we need to 
deal with this guy. But uh, we have some ways to do that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm charging the card. I'll play... Uh, well, I'll hit the tough off from here. I will... Use the X-Jet and uh, Molecular Acceleration to play Royal Flush. So we add one and then we remove three. Then uh, we deal nine damage here. And we still need to deal one more damage, and we can do that with just the card. And we are spending three, so we get overkill. So we deal uh, seven, so six goes to Magneto. We take one retaliate, but this is defeated, so we don't have to face the villainous uh, Bastion. And this goes actually into the victor display, so we don't have to uh, see that guy ever again. Okay, um, I think that's everything we ready up. We draw one, two, three, four, five. Powerful Punch, Armored Vest, Natural Agility, Professor X, and Energy. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Magneto attacks. Oh, yeah. Uh, back up. I deal six damage, so actually, this <coughs> takes six damage. We still need to deal two here to get rid of that, uh, so that Magneto will re uh, lose the retaliate. But yeah, so Magneto attacks. I will defend with Gambit. I will use Judoka skills. So plus two, so I'm at five. I will use Natural Agility. I'll get one here and get plus one from that. And uh, I will... Should I... Okay, well, we will defend, so 3 plus 3 is 6, so I won't take any damage. I get to remove 2 from here, deal 1 damage to Magneto, so it goes here. I'm ready with my guild armor, and I'll get to draw a card. And it is Polaris. We'll get an encounter card. It is Senyaka, which is from the Acolytes. So teamwork, Acolyte, no other Acolytes in play. And this guy has uh, three health. So when defeated, the player who defeated Senyaka is stunned. If they are already stunned, they take three damage. Okay. And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well... Uh, this round, let me think, these guys will just defeat Senyaka, so I'll get stunned, and I will play Professor X, and after Professor X enters play, choose one, uh, confuse the villain, stun a minion, or ready an X-Men character. I will ready Gambit. I will hit, but just remove the tough. And I will play uh, Armored West. And Professor X will thwart this away. When defeated, flip this card and reveal the physical strength. 
Physical strain attached to Magneto. Permanent. Magneto loses steady. So now we can actually uh, stun and confuse Magneto a bit more easily. So I'll just put that over there. I'm really sorry about the glare over here, but it is what it is. The light is coming from the window in a stupid way, so nothing I can do with that, but <laughs> it is what it is, so we ready up. Oh yeah, uh, Rogue took one consequential damage from attacking, so I'll add that. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We get Royal Flush. Oh yeah, we charged uh, Gambit again by one. <clears throat> Royal Flush, charge the card, hard to ignore, strength, and Gambit stab finally. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we will... And one threat over here. <clears throat> Magneto attacks. I will defend. Uh, four against three. Two. Uh, so... We take one damage. Yeah, so unfortunately with... No, no. <clears throat> uh, Professor X is defending. Because uh, he will go away. So, yeah. P Professor X is defeated. And we get an encounter card. It is Amelia Walks. And it is another Acolyte. So, Stalwart. Teamwork, Acolyte. De when defeated, the player who defeated Amelia Voft is confused. If there are all, are already confused, place two threats on the main skin. Okay, and five health. So we need to deal with that next round. But that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, now I need to figure out how to deal with the Amelia Voft. So, I think I will charge the card, play charged card, use all of these. So I will deal 7 here and 2 will overflow removing this. So Magneto loses Retaliate. And I am confused. Which is okay because I, now I can just... Exhaust to Sword to get rid of the Confused. And I will play Gambit's Staff. And the last heart to ignore. And I'll keep the Royal Flush in hand. So we draw back up to... Mm, Yeah, uh, I'll hit for two damage here. So we start chipping away on Magneto now. So we draw, we shuffle these, we get an extra encounter card for next round. So I think we're pretty well set up now, having basically everything we need on the table. But so is Magneto. Okay, well, uh, we need two more cards here. Okay, two <laughs> double charge card. Not good. Well, not that good because we need charges on the damn um, uh, gambit. So we're ready up. Uh, Magneto attacks, and I will defend. And uh, I'm actually playing the powerful punch here. And I'll use the molecular acceleration to get one charge counter here. So we deal four damage to Magneto. <clears throat> then uh, we use the Gambit staff to deal one. Magneto hits for three, and I am defending for four. And this is an encounter card, not a boost card. So three plus give Magneto a tough status card and face down boost card. 
Okay. So <clears throat> we don't take any damage, which is great. But Magneto can tough. But we get to use one of these to remove this. We get to deal one damage, so that removes the tough. Uh, we get to draw a card, hard knocks, and we get to ready Gambit. So uh, then we get two encounter cards, one from decking out, and actually <clears throat> this also happens before that. So uh, discard cards until we hit the magnetic card. <clears throat> so Magneto's helmet. So attach to Magneto. Magneto cannot be confused. Hero responds after your hero makes a basic attack against Magneto. Spend all different resources and discard this card. I think we are just ignoring the helmet. <clears throat> okay. Then we get a discard. So Nimrod, Stalwart, <laughs> Victory 1, 9 health. Uh, Nimrod cannot take more than 3 damage each phase, so that is painful. And we get seized. When revealed, each player places the top 6 cards of their deck face down underneath here. When defeated, Magneto activates against the player who defeated this scheme and discard <coughs> cards under here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it has 6. Oh, I mean, <coughs> three, uh, three threat here. Oh, yeah. So that is the villain phase. Uh, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, <coughs> we need to figure out how to deal, uh, defeat Nimrod. So, <coughs> first off, we'll charge the card. As we can't deal more than three each phase, so that guy is going to stay <clears throat> stay for a while, which is a shame. So, um, how do we want to do this? Could just ignore and try to rush Magneto down. I think that's better than trying to deal with this guy. So how do we want to do this? So I'm okay. I'm not really keen on trying to rush now because <clears throat> Magneto still has 11 health this deals only 6 damage so we want to use the next round Okay, so I'll play Hard Knocks with Genius and charge the card to deal three, no, uh, four damage here. And I will hit for one here. And Rogue will stay and will keep these. This is a bit odd. Um, a bit bad that we drew all the attack cards this round. Okay, well, it is what it is. <coughs> okay, we get uh, not today. Natural agility, molecular acceleration, charge the card, and royal flush. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. Um, Magneto attacks. Gambit will defend. Oh yeah, we add two here. That's not a problem. So Magneto has two boost cards. I will play not today. 
So I'm six against three. And we get uh, plus two. So we don't take any damage. And shuffle each Acolyte minion from the discard pile into the counter deck. So that is a bad one. That is an Acolyte. That is an Acolyte. So we're going to get overrun with these Acolytes if we don't defeat Magneto before that. Okay, so that, that is every everyone. Giving, giving a good shuffle now because there is so few cars and so many enemies and most of them acolytes which have team up and that's bad. Okay, but uh, before anything else happens, we didn't take any damage. We'll draw a card. We deal one damage and also dealt one damage with this. So Magneto is down to four. Then uh, we get to ready. So Nimrod attacks. I will use uh, natural agility. So uh, we don't we defend, but we get one charge the card. Also deal one damage to Nimrod. But we get to remove two threat from here. And also we get to remove two threat from here because we played the not today. But that's not important right now. And uh, yeah, that is that. So we get an encounter card, and it is Mac. Uh, we also get one here. Ma magnet counter. So magnetic missile. Uh, no sentinels. So this uh, just magnetic mass. Uh, Master of Magnetism, so when we'll take the topmost magnetic card in the counter discard pile and give it to Magneto as face down boost card, Magneto activates against you. So now Rogue unfortunately has to defend. So this is a boost card. So Magneto attacks for a bunch of damage, but we lost one Acolyte there, so that's good. And Rogue is unfortunately defeated. And that is that, so that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, <clears throat> not a lot to do this round, so I'll charge the card. I'll play charge card with molecular acceleration. So we add one charge here, and I'll only deal four damage because we'll just try to defeat Magneto now. So we advance to phase two. Steady toughness. And when revealed, deal each player a phase down and count the card. Okay. Force response: After Magneto attacks, you place one magnet counter on the main scheme. And that is everything we can do. Uh, we'll just draw three cards and ready up. So um, we'll go to the villain phase. Magneto attacks for four, and I'm defending with four. No way to boost my defense. So I'm actually doing a risky move here, so I'll just take the damage on the face. And I'll just exhaust this to get rid of the tough. So Magneto hits for 4 plus uh, exhaust each ally you control, we don't have any, so we'll take 4 damage. Down to 3. Nimrod attacks, 
I will defend. Oh yeah, and uh, Magneto has 20 health, but we just dealt one with electrostatic armor. So 19 left. So Nimrod attacks, I will defend, and we don't take any damage. We deal one damage back with electrostatic armor. We get a car with unflappable. We get to, oh yeah, we added two threat here. We get to remove them with uh, hard to ignores. And we get to ready gambit. And that is that, so... Uh, that was... Oh uh, yeah, we still get uh, encounter cards, unfortunately. So this can, can wreck us. Zeal for the cause. When revealed, result the when defeated ability of each acolyte minion. If you are not engaged with an Acolyte minion, discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded, then reveal it. And it doesn't have to be an Acolyte minion. But it is. But uh, that's not the bad one. This is a bad one. This has quick strike. Uh, this comes into play. This gets shuffled into the deck. So, <laughs> oh dear, this is going to be tough. We might just uh, burst damage here, go to alter ego, and come back, hoping to get some way to get Magneto defeated. Okay. So I have to defend against her. So defending, we don't take any damage. We deal one damage, so that is removed. And uh, we don't want to get rid of this. I think we're happy here. So that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, this round will be just deal as much damage as you can to Magneto and go to Alter Ego. So I'll charge the card, use three co uh, charges to play Royal Flush. So we deal nine damage to Magneto. Magneto has ten left. Then... We will, yeah, so we use the X-Jet, not today, and Beauty and the Thief. We'll use Crowley Charmer and Judoka skills to use three from here, deal seven damage to Magneto. And go to Alter Ego, and ready up, and draw back up. Hoping to get something that will deal 3 damage. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, if we survive, we have hard knocks times 2. So, we'll go to the villain phase. We add first 3 threat to the main scheme. Magneto, these are no, non villainous so this at five so magneto will scheme for two three four plus four which we don't uh, mind because this will advance either way so when revealed place one magnet counter here if so Sabotage Master Mold is not in the Victory Display. The first player searches the counter deck and discard pile for a copy of the M-Type Sentinel Minion and reveals it. So we have sabotaged the Master Mold already and that is in the Victory Display. So we add one here and flip this. For, and force response. Uh, after you place a magnet counter on this scheme, there is three schemes, so it's the same. And uh, then these add 5. So we are at 5 threat here. Then we get an encounter card. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. Delago, retaliate, 1 teamwork, acolyte. So 
So I think these two will now activate against me, so they will just uh, advance this one. When revealed, place two magnet counters here. If physical strain is not attached to Magneto, the first player says then counter deck and discard pile for a magnetic attachment and deals it. Well, luckily it is. And if this stage is complete that the players lose the game, but we are not losing. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so definitely the final round of the game. So I will just flip to hero mode. I will charge the card for last time, and I will play Hard Knocks with the... Uh... Yeah, let's play it with Strength and Professor X. No need to do anything fancy here. So we deal 4 damage to an enemy. If the enemy is defeated by this attack, give your hero a tough status card. So we also get a tough here. We deal actually 5 damage using that. So, that is the last damage our health on uh, Magneto, so we are uh, successful of defeating Magneto on the first try in the Mutant Genesis uh, campaign playthrough. So, the, uh, yeah, if, if the game would have continued any further, these would have just completely destroyed me. But we get to read the <laughs> last page of the comic, which I'm not going to read. But uh, victory Magneto is defeated and the players win the campaign, turn the page to its conclusion, which is this. So, well, um, that, that was a really, really fun uh, campaign to play through. Not, nothing too um, different from standalone gaming, but also nothing uh, that was impossible or felt really unfair or not interesting to play like the galaxy's most wanted uh, campaign playthrough so definitely this encourages me to play uh, the um, in the titan shadow campaign box and uh, sinister motives campaigns through at some point but yeah hope this was an amusing playthrough altogether uh, the campaign playthrough, I mean, so uh, nothing further to say, but to just hope that you guys like this playthrough, and thanks for watching, and until next time.